If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. White House Farm, broadcast in some countries under the titles White House Farm Murders and the Murders at White House Farm, is a British television crime drama based on the real-life events that took place in August 1985. The series was produced by New Pictures for ITV and distributed worldwide by All3 Media. It was broadcast by ITV on 8th of January 2020. The series is based on the true events from 6th of August 1985. Five members of the Bamba Cathal family are shot to death at the White House farm in Essex. The police, led by detectives DCI Taft Jones, played by Stephen Graham, and DS Stan Jones, played by Mark Addy, are called in to investigate. When questioning the Bamba son, Jemery Bamba, he claims that his sister Sheila, who was suffering from schizophrenia, went berserk and got hold of a silenced rifle and killed their parents and Sheila's six-year-old twin sons. As the murder case unravels, a devastating twist comes to light. Just a bit of background on the real-life White House farm murders. They took place near the village of Tolshunt de Arcy in Essex, England, United Kingdom, during the night of the 6th and the 7th of August 1985. Neville and June Bamber were shot and killed inside their farmhouse at the White House farm, along with their adopted daughter Sheila Caffell and Sheila's six-year-old twin sons, Daniel and Nicholas Caffell. The only surviving member of the immediate family was their adopted son, Jeremy Bamber then 24 years old, who had said he had been at home a few miles away when the shooting had taken place. Police initially believed that Sheila, diagnosed with schizophrenia, had fired the shots and then turned the gun on herself. But weeks after the murders, Jeremy's ex-girlfriend told police that he had implicated himself. The prosecution argued that, motivated by a large inheritance, Bamba had shot the family with his father's semi-automatic rifle and then placed the gun in his unstable sister's hands to make it look like a murder-suicide. A silencer, the prosecution said, was on the rifle and would have made it too long, they argued, for Sheila's fingers to reach the trigger to shoot herself. Bamba was convicted of five counts of murder in October of 1986 by a 10-2 majority verdict. He was sentenced to a minimum of 25 years and informed in 1994 that he would never be released. The Court of Appeal upheld the verdict in 2002. Jeremy protested his innocence throughout, although his extended family remained convinced of his guilt. Between 2004 and 2012, his lawyer submitted several unsuccessful applications to the Criminal Cases Review Commission, arguing that the silencer might not have been used during the killings, that the crime scene may have been damaged, then reconstructed, and that the crime scene photographs were taken weeks after the murders, and that the time of Sheila's death had been miscalculated. The key issue was whether Jeremy had received a call from his father that night to say Sheila had gone berserk with a gun. Jeremy said that he did, and he had alerted the police, and that Sheila fired the final shot while he and the officers were standing outside the house. It became a central plank of the prosecution's case, and that the father had made no such call, and that the only reason Jeremy would have lied about it, indeed, the only way he could have known about the shootings, was that he had alerted the police after he had killed the family. The real-life murders took place in the village of Tolshunt de Arcy. No scenes in the White House farm were filmed there, instead the producers chose other locations to replicate the area. The scenes of Jeremy Bamber's trial were filmed in the same courthouse that the real-life trial took place in Chelmsford Crown Court. Director Paul Wintington said, The house we used to depict the house at White House Farm was key, firstly for its setting in rural Essex, its isolation and its beauty. Also crucially, what ultimately tipped the balance for us in terms of what particular location was the interior layout of the house, which was very similar to the original house itself, he would say. On September 18, 2020, an official companion podcast produced by Our Heart Radio was announced via a trailer published across all podcasting platforms, with the first episode premiering on the 24th of September 2020, alongside the release of the series on HBO Max. Hosted by producer Lauren Bright Vitaccio, the podcast features conversations with the creators of the series, experts on the case, and the family members of the deceased to provide context to what's happening on screen, as well as the extended audio clips to further immerse the listener into the world of the show. Now, White House Farm is a gripping and meticulously crafted dramatization of a tragic and notorious true crime case. The series is anchored by strong performances from the cast, particularly here from Freddie Fox as Jerry Bamber, the prime suspect in the murders, and Mark Addy as DS Stan Jones, the lead investigator. The show effectively captures the tension and complexity of the investigation, as well as the emotional toll it took on those involved. The production values, of course, as always, are top-notch, with attention to detail in recreating the period setting of the mid-1980s. The writing is sharp and suspenseful, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats as the mystery unfolds. While the subject matter is dark and at times harrowing, the series handles it with the sensitivity and respect for the victims and their families. My one gripe, however, with the show, unfortunately, has to be Stephen Graham's Welsh accent. I'm a huge fan of Stephen Graham's work, and I think he's an excellent actor. However, he's really miscast in this role. 
and I found his Welsh accent to be very inauthentic. Some online commentators describe the accent as the worst screen accent since Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins. Overall, White House Farm is a compelling and thought-provoking drama though, and really offers a chilling glimpse into one of Britain's most notorious crimes. It's a must-watch for fans of true crime dramas and anyone interested in exploring the intricacies of criminal investigations and the human psyche. It's a truly tragic case of one man driven by greed to murder not only his elderly parents, but his sister and of course her six-year-old twins. It's a truly heinous and disgusting crime, made worse by the mere fact that Jeremy now would blame it all upon his sister, who of course was suffering from schizophrenia. It truly is a horrific, dark and disgusting crime, but does however make for a fascinating and intriguing series. White House Farm gets an 8.5 out of 10.